welcome. My name is Brian, and this is my van tour. Um, this is a 2018 Ford Transit, medium roof. Um, I bought it actually from uh, a guiding outfitter that I used to guide for. My partner, the camera woman, used to guide for. Um, it was mainly used or exclusively used uh, for tours. And because it was a commercial vehicle, it had to be um, inspected by a professional mechanic every 45 days. It had to go um, a daily inspection from the driver. Uh, so as far as a vehicle with 69,000 miles on it, you cannot have a better maintained vehicle. Um, so I uh, just wanted to bring that up first. I think for the miles, it's, uh, it's as good as you can get. Um, I will go into the van uh, build now. Uh, we'll start from the outside. I'm just going to be looking at things and just talking about them until um, the camera woman tells me to stop. So um, I'm going to get on this side. This is a drop down table uh, on the back side of the, the kitchen. It fits the stove um, perfectly. This is the stove that comes with the van. So you can cook from the outside, which is super slick. Um, it's nice you can cook under the shade. There's an awning um, that comes with the van. It's portable. Um, I will tell you about the awning. We'll cut away to it uh, another time. But it's just uh, right over um, your head to protect you from the shade and rain, which is really nice. But cooking outside, super practical. It's a Cook Partner steel camp stove. These are top of the line stoves. You can maintain it. They'll last forever. Really, really nice. Uh, we wanted to use a stove like this so it would be portable. You could cook out here, cook inside. There's a, uh, a little hole here actually on the side that the, the propane hose comes out of. Um, super easy to take in and out. So you can kind of take it out, run it to the stove, cook outside, um, take it out, cook on the countertop if you want to. So that's that. We'll leave that open. You have a retractable step that comes uh, with the van. You can also disable it if you want more room um, out here cooking, hanging out. Uh, that's easy to do. We have a grass step um, that we really like. It's actually quite nice. I'll show you its main use as we walk in. We just like to put our shoes there. Store them underneath here. It's really easy. Put a couple pairs of shoes there. Uh, it is, if you guys aren't into the, the fescue fake grass look, um, it's easily removable too, so if you don't <laughs> like it. Um, but walking into the van, I'll let Olivier go first. Talk about the cab area first. Um, we have two swivel chairs, so they go 180 degrees, um, face the opposite way, it really opens up the space. Um, there's overhead storage here, um, Bluetooth, I think I mentioned all this in the posting, but there's Bluetooth, a uh, backup camera that's brand new, 2021 backup camera um, that you use on this screen here. Um, this swivel table uh, can accommodate three dining guests um, right here, so it kind of super easy to move around. Uh, it's a lagoon swivel table. If you've ever heard of them, they're great. They're used in boats and things like that. Um, so really nice uh, um, kind of living area right here. You can retract, you can raise and lower this and kind of fold it all the way down, which it kind of is already. Um, this is its um, resting position when we, uh, when we drive. Uh, it's also retractable here. So you can store it underneath the bench, which we like to do. In fact, Marshall. I'll just go ahead and show you the bench. It has a gas strut that keeps it up. Liv, you can let it go. Okay. Yep. So this fits perfectly in there. Um, this is a huge storage space underneath the bench. Um, it fits probably four or five extra five gallon water tanks. If you wanted to store them there, we would always keep another extra uh, couple tanks in here. Um, you put all sorts of stuff in there. We like to keep a small cooler in here too, because we like to have cold beers. Um, the fridge holds quite a few, but um, 
not enough for us. Uh, so that's the bench. Really, really big, like tons and tons of storage underneath this bench. Um, and the bench is really cool too. The upholstery was done by uh, the camera woman's mother who is a seamstress, really, really nice. Um, it's really long, you can kind of sit, um, you know, kind of full body, like lengthways on it really easily. There's a sill here that you can uh, put your drinks on or decorative things if you'd like, um, but really mm -hmm. practical. Uh, the window is just beautiful. The One of the coolest things about this van is the amount of uh, windows we have. Um, these are the curtains. Um, these are really snazzy. I think they look really nice actually um, uh, up and then practically of course at night um, to block out the light. If you're on the street, maybe the street light um, or if you want to block out the sun during the day. Um, just privacy, um, stealth mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these curtains are really great for that. I think they look really nice. Um, one thing I didn't mention down here are, is uh, one of the two main outlets that we have. So two 110 volt outlets and two USB outlets. So when the uh, table is here, it's a really nice workstation to have the table here with all those outlets as well. Behind me, I wanted to mention, this is actually uh, a retractable curtain. They're really all retractable, but um, if you wanted to use this, you put it up here. Um, on the sliding door at night, uh, you can fold this down, but just want to let you know this is retractable. Um, also behind me is the Skeeter Beater um, bug screen. They're not a sponsor, um, but uh, they're really great, super, they're custom fit for this van. Um, put them up, take them down, super easy. They're really great if you're at a, um, you know, if you've parked at a place with a bunch of bugs you don't want to let them inside which is definitely going to happen but you still want to cook with some fresh air and all the rest i uh, just put that up you cook from the inside it's really really nice we put the stove right here yeah if you want to cook uh indoors the stove goes right here you can always need a little more space this is um countertop extension about 20 inches adds to the 40 inch countertop so in total five feet of countertop space, which is huge, actually. It's quite a lot for, I think, a van conversion. Um, this is butcher block, and we, uh, we've we treated it so you can actually use it to cut on. We never did, because we wanted it to be as pristine as possible for the future buyer, but um, it is treated uh, in such a way that uh, with some maintenance every couple months, um, you can cut on top of it, which is really, really nice. Um, Liv just showed you how uh, practical it is yeah beautiful that looks so um we can now go to some overhead cabinet storage give you an idea of what might be able to go in there these latches um are super strong so in case you know turn big turn have something heavy in there it's not going to go anywhere um have these nice wicker um fronts to them and uh and leather strap handles which are um kind of cool so then we have silverware storage here it can be whatever you want it to be these drawers fit a bottle of wine perfectly we've got a bunch of spices here and then garbage and recycling and this one here is uh, just the water system. So a five gallon fresh water tank, five gallon gray water tank. Um, like I said, there's not much uh, space for more there, but uh, under the bench, tons of storage for extra water, which we really liked. Um, we, when we were um, living out on the road, out of the van, five gallon fresh water would last us a couple days. Um, and uh, so, you know, if you were gone off the grid for a week, um, three of those would last you and you can easily store two more in here, which is quite nice. Removing them in and out, taking them out, super, super easy. Um, uh, I don't want to make the video too long to show you, but uh, just know that they're super easy to do. Um, more storage. This is kind of our pantry drawer. You could put pots and pans in here too. And, and this is the propane locker. 
This is where the propane lives for the stove. We have a 20 pound tank in here, just to sh we wanted to size it so in case someone wanted that size of a tank, they could use it. Um, really just um, cooking is what we use propane for, uh, and that would last you several, several weeks. Um, so if you wanted to open up more space and just use these kind of um, one pound canisters, uh, you could also do that and open up more storage space down here. Um, so that's an option as well. This is a, uh, a sealed propane locker um, with a vent at the bottom in case, you know, for whatever reason there was a leak, which is super rare. Um, we've just kind of gone ahead and had taken that safety measure to have a vented sealed propane locker here. And then more storage, right? Yeah, show them. All right. Lots of different shelves. They're all removable. And up here, we put in a bar so you can take out the shelves, take out one or even two shelves and hang a bunch of clothes and then you still have plenty of storage space. And down here, this fits the stove perfectly. Yep. I'll trade with you. And the fridge. It's a Norcold fridge, holds um, a fair bit of food. We were able to keep quite a lot cold um, for us to, for a long period of time. There's a freezer. Um, the freezer keeps stuff super frozen, actually. Like the setting is one through five. We kept it on two or three and it kept um, things frozen. We keep ice bit. cream there and it's perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. So this fridge is sweet sleek looking too. Um, looking at the floors reminded me to tell you that there are um, my feet in the video now. Uh, <laughs> there are uh, floor vents for heat, for rear heat. This is a vehicle controlled heat and there's also an overhead um, vent for AC in the back as well. Again, vehicle controlled. Um, so there is rear heat and AC uh, available. The lights, there is a light um, underneath here, and there are six uh, dimmable LED lights uh, on the ceiling, and then one more uh, additional uh, outlet here. How much voltage? Yeah, so it's a thousand watt inverter, so you'll be able to run a blender off of this, which is really nice. Um, and that's all we ever needed it for, but that, that uses a lot of power, so these are these are good for that that amount of um, uh, draw, which is pretty strong. All right, let's go outside. You wanna show them the shower? I forgot to mention, yeah, 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 exactly. So I'll show you kind of a makeshift shower. I didn't, in the listing, show that it had shower capabilities because I thought that might be a little generous, but you can, because this is a, an extendable hose, hook it on a magnetic hook out here and do a little makeshift shower or just like a little rinse off. Um, so it is practical for that, that purpose. We have that um, available for us. All right, now I'm coming around back. All right, welcome to the back of the van. I want to show you that uh, these doors retract all the way back and there's a pull string here to exit from the inside. Um, we have insulated window curtains, sorry, insulated window covers for the windows, um, built to size, handmade by my mother. Um, they keep the van super, you lose a lot of heat um, through the windows, so in the winter time, throwing these up at night is super um, important, it's great. Um, and they're magnetic, so they just fit on just like that. Um, and also, if you're not too worried about the insulation, you can flip them because uh, the insulation's on this side, but you can flip them and it'll black out the windows too for, for privacy. In uh, stealth mode. In stealth mode. Uh, the curtains again. Um, the back has LED lights in the garage. Super bright, easy if you are um, tinkering with the electrical system. Um, there, there's a cargo net I put in here just to kind of, uh, if you have boxes sliding, um, around on here, uh, then you're gonna want to, to protect this area a little bit. I do have tie down points, um, rings where you can uh, uh, tie down whatever storage you have back, back here. 
Um, but anyways, just a safety precaution. Here's the electrical system. I have 300 watts of solar on the roof. Um, that on and off switch is here. There's a master on and off switch here. So it's 200 amp hour AGM battery. And then you can also charge uh, this house battery um, from just driving. It's uh, There's a battery to battery charger, which is that guy right there. Um, there's, a, there's a smart battery uh, monitor that you can connect to an app on your phone so you can see how much you're using. We, in multiple days um, off grid, we never got our usage down below 84%. And this AGM batteries go, are, are functional to about 50%. So um, you can go, I would think about a week um, off grid uh, in this vehicle, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you need to, you know, get it going, if you have a, a real uh, cloudy stretch, then you just drive around the vehicle and you can recharge it. All right. So that is the garage. We'll move up to the bed area. Take our shoes off again. All right. Welcome to the bed area. This is a queen size bed. Um, about 5'10 length and that can be extended if you put your feet through the windowsill here. It's long enough for me and I'm 6'2". Um, by the way, this probably looks smaller, this van looks smaller than it is because I'm so tall. Um, but I sleep comfortably in this, uh, in this van. Um, that's super helpful. Curtains here again, really cute windows. Windows are a big, I think, um, unique point to the van. Uh, they're really, really nice to have and um, you can shut out the light and uh, make them insulated as I showed you before too. So, um, little beer shelf here, um, beer slash phone shelf. There's a USB port here. Um, there's reading lights here and here. There's a remote for the Max Air Fan, which um, takes air uh, in or out. Uh, really, really important when you're cooking and things like that. Um, this is this is a, a lifesaver. Um, we find that the air fan is all we need for like super hot summer nights. It's really great air conditioning just above you, and truly, like we don't need to use the van air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, we had we never we were in Florida um, in the spring and didn't need it a single time. Just this this air fan is fine. Um, this is an on-off switch for the inverter. And really, that's about it, except for this sweet little addition. This is a projector screen that fits on the end of your bed. The projector, mini projector is right here. So you can watch uh, movies inside, which is awesome. Um, I kind of wanted to end on that, but I'll, I noticed this, I didn't bring it up. This is a carbon monoxide smoke detector as well. Um, and a little storage shelf. Uh, so cool little back here, a cool little area back here. Really comfy uh, mattress too. It's a six inch memory foam mattress. Um, really, really comfy. Some of this bedding might come with the van, the pillows at least, but the, the mattress obviously does. So um, that's about it. All right, thanks for joining me on the van tour. Um, I am trying to sell this, so if you have uh, questions, you wanna learn more about it, uh, I have linked, I believe, in the notes, uh, my contact information, the Instagram account for more photos, um, the Van Life Trader listing as well. Um, this van lives in Chicago, so if you wanted to come see it in person, you're welcome to come here, or uh, the nationwide delivery is offered as well. I'd be happy to drive it to wherever you are, um, and we can also do a virtual tour. Um, don't be a stranger, reach out if you have any more questions. Thanks for joining me on the tour and onward and upward. Safe travels.